Ottawa home sales dropped for a ninth straight month in November as the real estate market continued to cool down. A 42% drop year over year, it's the largest decline so far that we've seen. And you know what is up? Months of inventory. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the latest numbers from the Ottawa Real Estate Board, and I'll tell you if we're finally in a balanced market. Stick around. Welcome back and thanks for tuning in. My name is Andre with The Meadow Group and we service Ottawa and surrounding areas, all things real estate. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell notification for upcoming content. And if after this video, you might have some questions, there's a link in the description below and you can schedule a buyer call, a seller call, or simply chat more about the changing market. Home sales or the number of transactions has dropped 42% year over year. In fact, it's the largest decline so far this year, just slightly edging out October, which had a 41% drop. Our president of the board, Penny Taranto, quoted the following. This is not isolated to our local market. Globally, we're still adjusting to the post-pandemic world, and that affects demand, pricing, interest rates, cost of living, supply chain disruptions, and more. Let's take a look at the numbers and also keep in mind that the Bank of Canada raised its overnight rate for the sixth time on October 26 to 3.75% in hopes of lowering the country's inflation. Here we have our month over month comparison on the left of the different asset classes. So we have detached homes, semi-detached, townhomes and condos. Uh, DOM is days on market, MOI is months of inventory. And at the bottom is number of sales or how many transactions have happened. Uh, for the month. Let's start with MOI. So currently, as of November, they're at 3.5 months. Uh, this is the closest that we've ever been to a balanced market in Ottawa. A balanced market is anywhere from four to six months. So we're very close. Uh, what this also means is that buyers now have a lot more options and a lot more time to shop. DOM days of market are 30. Uh, this is how long it takes on average for a home to sell. Now, different pockets uh, in Ottawa will, will be either higher or lower depending on the location. Uh, the number of sales have decreased again. We are now at 846 transactions for the month of November. So again, less action is happening in the market. It is cooling down uh, and buyers are taking their time to shop. Let's look at uh, detached homes. I'm gonna compare October versus November. Um, so in October, the average price of a detached home was trading at 717,000. It uh, went up just slightly, so it's hovering around the same. Uh, Semi-detached homes saw a drop uh, down to 633 from 672. Townhomes went up a little bit from 580 to 586. Uh, and condos saw a dip from 445 uh, to 415. So uh, again, this is going to give you a good indication of which asset classes are going up or down. So detached about the same, semi-detached dropped down, townhomes went up and condos went down. What does this all mean for buyers and sellers? For buyers, those who can are waiting and watching. You now have more options and time as a consumer to purchase a home. Gone are the days of 30 minute showings and writing an offer on the same day and competing against eight other buyers. Homes are in the market much longer and sellers are motivated and there's the possibility to negotiate on price. If you're a seller, marketing is key as you now have direct competition down the street. Now might be a good time to fix something up so you can advertise your recent improvements. And of course, you need to be patient and understand that there won't be 30 showings on a given weekend. Here we're looking at the year over year comparison. So what we're doing is looking at the average price uh, for November compared to November of 2021. So same time as last year, if it was an increase or decrease. Um, as you can see, all asset classes saw a decrease uh, compared to same time as last year. So detached homes minus 7%, semi-detached minus 4.7, townhomes fell uh, by 4% and condos down by 3.8%. So what happens now in the market? Don't forget that last week, the central bank hiked its key interest rate to 4.25%. And this will obviously affect first time home buyers the most as their purchasing power will probably decrease. Will buyers wait and see until the start of 2023 if home prices will drop even more? December sales on average are the slowest of the year as everyone prepares for Christmas and the start of the new year. So is now the best time to buy a home and take advantage of a possible upcoming balanced market? Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching and catch you in the next one.